All right, guys, so I'm here at the Harley Davidson Demo Days. Look at all these demo motorcycles. I actually have 18 of them today, which is pretty amazing. And today, I'm going to ride this. This is the Harley Davidson Tri Glide, also known as the Trike. So let's take a look at this thing right here. So it's kind of tricky to get on. At first I was tempted to put my leg over, but he's like, no, you need to put your foot on the pedal, grab a handle, and then get on it like this. <laughs> kind of tricky getting on it. All right, so to turn it on, turn it on here, put your foot on the brake. It actually has an emergency brake right here that you have to take off. Then turn it on. The interesting thing is the reverse button is also the start button. So make sure it's a neutral, pull on the clutch, hit the start button. All right, this is very comfortable. And if you ever, if you've ever driven a trike, you know it's a little bit tricky to get used to. <laughs> I drove one last year and let me tell you, it was a different beast. All right, so for the clutch, I like to look at the clutch. Oh, you let it out, uh, maybe a little bit more than normal. Maybe like a, a finger and a half on the clutch. So, pretty nice, pretty nice. The weird thing about a trike is that when you pull up to a stop sign, especially after riding motorcycles all day, you, uh, you're tempted to put your feet down. <laughs> You do not need to put your feet down, and it's it's not top heavy, it's not tippy, it's it's a completely different beast, a three wheeler. Yeah, the clutch is nice, like your typical Harley Davidson clutch. Has a lot of forgiveness in the clutch. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So we'll see how it does on the highway. So it's kind of interesting because it has a, a little bit more bounciness, I'd say, than a bike, just because it's it has more mass to it, and it uh, has more wheels on the ground, so it kind of bounces around a little bit more. But after you get used to it, it's not too bad. I remember the first time I took out a trike, uh, it took me a while to get used to it. As a matter of fact, you're supposed to, uh, you, you take a training, uh, like a video training. I actually just went through it again this year and it's like uh, Maybe like a 15-minute training where they show you basically the operation and everything And then you're supposed to actually Let's see how much power this thing has So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> So it's interesting if you want to go left you pull left instead of pushing so it's a little bit different as far as the the maneuverability. So like right now, normally I would uh, push on my right and I'm pulling on my, it's like complete opposite of a motorcycle, which is weird. It's kind of weird to get used to a trike. So let's see, we'll bring it up to 50. It seems like uh, it has a, uh, not quite as, as much acceleration just because it's a bigger bike the more weight you have obviously the less power and acceleration you have even with the same engine this one has your standard harley davidson mirrors which i really like <laughs> that guy's enjoying his new car all right so i'm going 55, not too bad, 55. All right. So, uh, one thing I noticed about a trike is it's not, um, it seems like it kind of drifts, like it kind of kind of drifts back and forth on the, <laughs> it's not like rock solid like, a, like your motorcycle. I, I think it's just the nature of a trike, it just kind of, tends to have that little bit of a drift in there that you can notice. It's not too bad, but it's, it kind of throws you off the first time you ride a track. And then trying to uh, 
push and pull instead of push on your handlebars. It's a, like a completely different experience and you don't really have to lean into it. And as far as the uh, the wind deflection, it's basically, you know, you have this dash that co completely covers even the handlebars. <laughs> One hand wave. <laughs> it's almost cheating on the trike. I could wave with both hands on this thing. <laughs> No problem at all. This is, it's not really car-like though. It's its a completely different beast. Like your, um, like the Ultra Limited seems more like a car, almost car-like, where you're almost like a two-wheeled car, like super smooth and super stable. This doesn't really feel like you're riding, like you're riding a car. It's, uh, it's a completely different experience. <laughs> A little bit more bouncy, a little drifts around a little bit more, but you don't have to worry about tipping over. You can definitely do it with one hand, I would imagine. So in this one, I like that the windscreen comes all the way up to uh, just a this is a perfect spot for me. So I'm actually six foot four, so I'm kind of up higher. There's like no no buffeting at all from the wind. It's like, as a matter of fact, this is uh, probably the best wind deflection of any bike that I've ever seen. No choppy wind, no loud wind, no buffeting. It's it's like uh, completely blocks the wind. And then like right down between the uh, underneath, uh, underneath the, the fairing up here, you have this air that comes in and kind of cools your leg right in here, kind of cools your legs which is pretty nice. It's so weird just pulling up to a stop sign, not having to worry about tipping over. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting experience. It's pretty loud too. <laughs> it's pretty loud. It's got a pretty loud rotor. So that was like full throttle right there, which uh, I'd say it's not as fast as most bikes. <laughs> It's, uh, I'd say it's pretty slow compared to all the other motorcycles, but it's pretty fast. I'd say it might be faster than most cars, but you know, with the, with the mass of the, of the trike, I'm sure that really slows everything down. Uh, this is pretty nice. So we're going through here Let me bring it back up to 50 here. That's pretty good through here at 50 miles an hour. I actually had one on the highway last year, going about 60, 65. It seemed like it was pretty, pretty solid. The, the weirdest part is trying to get used to the, the, the reverse steering where you're pulling on the right to go right. <laughs> That's just kind of like the weirdest thing to get used to. So we're going 60, pretty stable, not too bad. If you just kind of get used to the, the bouncing around a little bit, you know, it's kind of like the first time you get used to something and it's, it's almost like learning how to ride a motorcycle for the very first time and you're not used to the, the you know, the, the wind and the, the bounciness. It's like, you almost have to learn how to ride a trike. As a matter of fact, part of the training program is uh, you, you watch the video and then they train you in a parking lot to make sure you're comfortable. I, I actually, this year I saw some people just riding around the parking lot, kind of getting used to the, the dynamics of it before they took it out on the, on the road, because it is a completely different beast. So the seat is very comfortable, I'm like sitting on a pillow, <laughs> which is pretty nice. It has floorboards, but uh, kind of the interesting thing is, uh, it seems like it the, the controls are pretty far forward, so I can slide my feet up quite a bit. So, you know, being really tall, it still seems like it's really comfortable. You know, for someone that's tall. And I think we might hit some rain. We'll find out how good it is in the rain. <laughs> it's mostly deflecting a lot of the, I would think it would deflect some of that rain with this uh, taller windscreen and, you know, all this wind protection up front. Of course, my knees might get soaked. I did bring a pair of extra pants <laughs> if I have to change. 
but I think we're gonna get wet. Uh, it's as far as the, the road vibration, it seems very smooth. As far as it seems a little bit bouncy, I'd say, from kind of bouncing around on the road, but you don't really get the buzziness in the handlebars like from the road vibration. All right, so we're gonna follow these. Well, I'm gonna turn around here in this little uh, parking lot here. I was actually bringing all the bikes up here just to see how easy it was to turn around. And this <laughs> this one you can turn around on a dime. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of curious to see just what the turning radius. This is like cranked all the way. So this is as much as you can turn. I don't know if you can get an idea of of how much that is. You can turn around pretty pretty tight on this thing. It's pretty nice. Not too bad. Pretty nice turning radius. It does have it kind of has a weird reverse. So it uses the the starter motor. Uh, let me see if I can get going here. So it actually has auto canceling blinkers. I just noticed that. <laughs> uh, it uses the starter motor as the reverse, which the, fir the first time you use reverse on one of these, it's kind of weird. It kind of jumps into reverse because you know the starter motor doesn't really have a, a gradual start to it. It just uh, is either on or off, which is kind of weird. The other thing about reverse is if you uh, if you go like reverse up a really steep incline and have the reverse going for too long, you can actually uh, blow a fuse on the reverse. Which, uh, so you want to use the reverse sparingly, I guess they say. <laughs> the other thing you warned me about on this is uh, if you pull up to a stop sign, whatever you do, don't put your feet on the ground because apparently the rear wheel could run over your foot and you could break your ankle. If you uh, accidentally put your foot on the ground pulling up the stop sign. So you always want your feet up on the floorboards at all times with this thing. Which isn't really a problem. I'm, I'm not even, I haven't really even been tempted to put my feet down. Seems really stable. So it's a completely different beast. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, I was at a motorcycle rally last year. I was like a veterans rally and I saw this guy riding down the, the road on a trike and usually you can actually if you want if you look at a trike uh, like if you're if you're in a car behind them uh, you'll notice that they kind of bounce around a little bit. It's kind of normal on a trike and this guy uh, He's riding his trike and it was rock solid going down the road. So when we got to the rally I asked him about his trike and he said he changed some suspension components in the rear end and was able to stabilize it to where it's not bouncy at all going down the road so he said it was really expensive though <laughs> so that, evidently that's an option where you can uh, change some suspension components and and uh, kind of keep it from bouncing around when it's going down the road so yeah, it's, it's a, you know, the one thing I'm kind of tempted to do is uh, is kind of lean into my turns. And I know on a trike you really don't lean. <laughs> I'm tempted to push instead of pull, and I'm tempted to lean. And it's it's like a, a completely different steering dynamic uh, when you're on a trike because you don't have to lean and you don't have to to push on the handlebar like a regular motorcycle you pull I actually found it's almost better to do a little bit of pushing and pulling at the same time it seems like it uh, it's a little bit easier all right so let's see the back brake back brake is really good actually for stopping this big old beast <laughs> It's actually a really good brake. Some of these Harley-Davidson motorcycles seem like they have pretty bad brakes in the back. Wow. 
that's actually pretty loud for being stock pretty loud exhaust so we're going 55 a little bit bouncy but kind of the funny thing is it's it's more of a bouncy feeling but it's not really like a, a, well I'd say the road down here kind of has like a washboard effect that you really can't see driving down the road but you could definitely feel it on some of the bikes and I think that's what's kind of giving us more of a kind of a bouncy effect going down the road but it doesn't really feel like it's the like the the road vibration per se it's more of just uh kind of the rear end bouncing around like you can't handle the the washboard on this road get a little bit of a bounce but it's not too bad uh, it takes you a little bit of time before you get used to going around corners at a significant speed on these two so i'm doing my corners at about 45 i'd say if you're starting out you might want to practice <laughs> before you before you hit some of these corners like this at 45 maybe practice in a parking lot the first time i rode one of these it was it was pretty bad i was like kind of struggling with it uh, but I'm definitely getting used to it. It doesn't, I'd say, uh, it probably takes maybe, maybe about a half hour riding before you really get comfortable. And last year when I rode one of these trucks, it seemed like right at the end of the demo, I was starting to get comfortable. It's like I almost needed to take it out again after my ride was over just because I finally learned how to properly ride a trike it just takes a, a little bit of work so as far as uh, kind of the fancy stuff on the dash looks like we have a radio we have a fuel gauge I really like the just the manual dials instead of the digital readouts it looks like it has a uh, miles per hour tachometer and a voltmeter so that's pretty standard I'd say on some of these Harley Davidsons, uh, I could see if you were uh, in really hot weather, you may be wanting more air. I don't know if you can get more air to come through here, but it blocks a lot of the the wind. It's pretty amazing. So that's one thing. You know, personally, I prefer to ride without a windscreen or a windshield. It just seems a little bit more liberating. But I can see if you're going on like a, a really long ride. See, I'm actually trying to lean again. <laughs> I'm always tempted to lean. Ugh. It's like, all right, don't lean and pull instead of push. <laughs> it's like, you almost have to make a mental note. All right, I'm on my trike. It's completely different. I have to work on this. Uh, the other thing I thought was interesting, uh, when before I took off, the, the guy that was kind of showing me all the controls on the trike, he said, uh, sometimes it's actually hard to um, put it in neutral when you're completely stopped. And he recommended putting it in neutral bef just before you completely stop, because sometimes he said if, you, if you're completely stopped, it's, it's really hard to put it in neutral, which I thought was pretty interesting. And he actually had me try to put it in neutral when I was stopped and it went right in. So <laughs> I don't know if some people are just having a problem with it, but it seemed like it popped right in a neutral for me at a full stop before I took off. So kind of during my little training. But yeah, if you were, uh, you know, if you had a, a problem riding a motorcycle, this would definitely be a good alternative where you could get on at least something and get out there and ride but yeah so riding the trike this time was a lot easier than last year when I first got on one and rode one for the very first time seems like it's so much easier I'm so much more comfortable uh, I'd say it definitely takes some some getting used to though Look at how much it shakes, quite a bit. <laughs> you can see it in the mirror. Well, it's got a little bit of shake from that engine. So. Yeah, not too bad. I like the, the thickness of the grips. 
I was on the, uh, I was riding that Nightster, and the Nightster actually had really super skinny grips to where it almost fatigued my hands. I'm kind of glad to get on something with uh, a little bit meatier grips on the handlebars, which is pretty nice. I've actually noticed a lot of trikes, a lot of people coming through with trikes lately. As a matter of fact, uh, I did, uh, I've been doing videos on my YouTube channel about all the different bikes, and last year my number one video out of all my videos was the trike video. <laughs> I had like 23,000 views, I couldn't believe. Everybody's looking at, at uh, trikes. All right, so this is actually in my way here. All right, so this will be interesting because I have to put it into neutral. This beast, beast. All right, so put it in neutral before. <laughs> I tried to put it in neutral before we stopped. It's easier when it, when it stopped. All right, so to put it in reverse, you actually hit the start button and hold it, which is interesting. Then it goes into reverse, and then if you just barely tap on the reverse, it uses the starter to go into reverse, which is kind of weird. <laughs> it kind of jumps a little bit. How weird is that, huh? It's kind of the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Kind of jumps, jumps the starter to go into reverse. That's kind of the weirdest thing. All right, so I'm gonna pull up just a little bit. You can actually put it in gear to get it out of reverse too, which is kind of interesting. All right, so let's see. I put it back in. That's three times in neutral uh, on the first time. So there you have it. That's pr that's pretty easy. So you just hit the, the kill switch here, turn it off here, and that is the trike. Pretty awesome. All right, so then there's an emergency brake right down here. You hit that, that kind of locks it so it's not going anywhere. All right, so yeah, I definitely had some experience this year. <laughs> I was much more comfortable on the trike this year than I was last year. This takes, uh, I'd say it takes maybe half hour, 45 minutes of riding and getting used to the controls to really get used to it. All right, so there you have it. That is the 2022 Harley Davidson Tri-Glide with the 114. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.